Today, I'm very excited to bring you a product review on Qtex Sneaky Peat Pull Q. Let's get to the table and let's test it out. All right, so here's the Qtex Sneaky Peat. This is a two piece Q and we're going to do a little demonstration with the cue itself. Um, this cue has a 15 and a half inch pro taper. It's a 13 millimeter shaft and it comes with um, a La Pro tip. It's fiberglass bonded over wood, which gives the ultra smooth uh, finish. So this cue I'm doing a demonstration on is a 19 ounce and I'll leave a link below so you can check out the queue in case you're interested. All right, so for those of you who are not aware, a Sneaky Pete is supposed to be um, similar in the design to a house queue. So this way, someone looks over at the table, see you playing, they just think, you know, hey, he's an okay player, you know, just using a regular house queue and not think anything of it. So again, you know, hence the Sneaky Pete. So, this cue originally came with a La Pro tip. Personally, I do not like them. They hit extremely hard. Um, I had bought a high-end Miyuchi, same thing. They put a La Pro. After the first five minutes, I took the tip off, put one of my Mako tips on. So um, here's a Mako Medium on here. Again, you know, I much prefer um, a, a softer tip, so to speak. La Pros, to me personally, hit extremely hard. Um, but again, you might like that. So, and the LaPros, when you hit with them, they have like a ping sound, and that drives me crazy. So, again, I much prefer the softer feel, and I don't get that annoying ping sound. So again, I'm just taking some shots, um, getting the feel of the cue itself. I love the true glide finish that they put on their shafts. Again, this Q, I believe is around $100, $105. And it's made by Q-Tech, which anybody that knows Q-Tech makes excellent product at very affordable prices. So again, I'm not doing anything fancy on the shots. I'm just getting a feel for the Q itself. You know, I just got this one uh, Friday, two days ago. Rolls beautiful, you know, again, it's a 19 ounce. The balance for me, you know, is perfect. It is a two piece um, and there's no fancy work. There are four points. It's hard to see because it's black on um, a really dark brown stain. This is all stain, a stain finish, no wrap. All right, so I'll take another shot. Again, I love the way this cue feels. And like I said, I changed the tip on there, get a lot better control out of the cue ball. Again, that's personal preference. So overall, what do I think about this cue? Q-Tech, I have to say you did an excellent job um, for an inexpensive cue, cue around 100, you know, 100, 105 dollars. You can't beat it. I mean, um, it's a great all around cue, nothing fancy about it. And again, it's a sneaky Pete version. Like I said, um, it does have four points. It's a black stain with a brown stain. So um, in this video, it's hard to see the detail because of how dark the black and the brown are. So it might look, appear all as one, but it is a four point um, wrapless design. So again, if you're looking for you know, a cue for that price range, this would be an excellent choice. My personal recommendation would be to change that LaPro tip that it comes with. Um, they play extremely hard. I do not like those type of tips. And you get um, a loud ping sound because of how hard the tip is. And I, I just, again, some people love them, but it is totally not my preference. So again, I would pick a medium tip, um, you know, and put it on there and you have an all around excellent cue. And don't forget, be made out of fiberglass, it's awesome. Take out, you know, to a bar, a friend's house. I mean, if you dropped it, um, 
you're at a bar, you know, you lean it up on a table or something and it, and it falls, you're not gonna ding this fiberglass shaft. Where if you brought your personal cue, more than likely, you're using a cue that has a wood shaft. You drop it in the bar, you usually they're concrete floors and then they're not gonna be totally smooth. You drop your cue there, you will get a ding on the shaft and now you're gonna be out two, three, four, five hundred dollars to replace that shaft. So again, um, excellent cue. Great feedback from it, my personal preference. Again, is changing that tip. And I think overall, you can't go wrong. So like I said previously, there'll be a link below in case you're interested. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you real soon.